uh, so external and the internal auditor so here is the differences between the external and internal auditor we have mainly uh, differentiated in the terms of the objective in the terms of appointment how the um, how the auditor is appointed and similarly the scope of it and the status and the qualification so on the basis of the five different criteria we have differentiated this external and the internal auditor so what do you mean by the auditor at first auditor is simply we can say that auditor are those person uh, who will be checking the financial activities of any organization so whenever you run a business yeah, if you are thinking of running the business smoothly then you need to have the financial planning so for that financial planning uh, you'll be uh, hiring some of the employee and uh, yeah for running the uh, whatever the organization you will be forming for running that organization smoothly you need to have the auditor so that he will be taking each and every financial activities of that organization and he will be uh, uh, giving the preventive measures if it is in loss if it is going to be in loss uh, because every organization are formed to have a profit so although there are various similarities of the work of any internal and the external auditor but Still, the major differences are um, between two are narrated as below. So, the main objective, why the external auditor are hired? The main objective is to express an opinion whether the financial statement discloses the true fear of the company's view or not. And here, the internal auditor to detect the error and fraud or as determined by the management. In terms of appointment, the external auditor are appointed by the shareholders whereas the internal auditor are appointed by the management in terms of scope it is determined by the status uh, that is the company um, and another is internal auditor it is determined by the management so status he is working independently by his responsibility to is to report to the shareholders and he is an employee of a company and is responsible to report the management. Next is about the qualification. So in case of public limited companies, the auditor must be a chartered accountant. And in this case, the quality uh, qualification or is determined by the management. So among these uh, differences, the easy way to understand is that external auditor are those auditors who will be checking um, after the financial activities only and internal auditor are those auditors who will be uh, who, who is the employee himself and he will be uh, determining what is the fraud what is the error inside the um, related to the financial activities of any uh, organization so he will be who will be uh, that internal auditor will be responsible for uh, knowing the error for identifying the errors and also he will be providing the preventive measures how to overcome it so that the company will not be facing the loss understood and next one is the okay internal auditing and the external auditing these are very similar to uh, internal auditor and the external auditor uh, but also let me explain so the internal and the external auditing that is the process of checking whether the financial activities of the um, whatever the organization is formed that organization have the financial activities done in a legal way or not in a proper way or not so that the financial activities um, is good then it will not uh, have to face the loss it will not it won't have risk to face the loss and it will be running smoothly next is that the internal and external auditing here also we have differentiated between these two as respect of objectives legal basis scope approach and responsibility so the main objective uh, is to advise the management on whether the organization has sound internal control system to protect it against the loss look this one is the job done by the internal auditor 
and the, this one uh, job is done by the external auditor why the internal auditing is to be done internal auditing is to be done so that after doing the auditing of the financial activities of an organization he will be able to identify the error where the error is going on and then after he will be able to advise the management or the team what should be done for that and how that internal system can be internal errors can be minimized and the loss the risk of loss can be minimized for an, any organization next is the external auditing so the main objective of external auditing is to provide an opinion as to whether or not the financial statements so true or fair view of a company's state affairs so it's mainly uh, related to the legal activities okay external auditing means um, externally some, the auditors who are the auditors who are appointed by the shareholders he or she will be coming to audit the financial activity and he or she will be responsible to um, identify whether the company is doing the uh, doing all the financial activity legally or not and that is the legal condition so this one is the legal um, activities on auditing is the legal activity that is the external auditing and in terms of legal basis so internal auditing is not legal requirement okay now from this line from this also you line you can um, see that you can know that that internal auditing is not needed to be done that should not be that uh, it is compulsory that um, government has made a compulsion to do internal auditing no it's not like that but why the government recommends government recommends to do a legal requirement um, for this uh, internal auditing why it does because go corporate government's advice says and recommends that the company should have the internal audit in the department why to check the internal auditing Uh, to check the internal financial condition and to know what the risk that company or the business has poses so that um, there won't be any problem uh, in the latter condition and the company will run smoothly okay the next one is the about the external auditing it is a legal requirement for limited liability companies and the uh, public bodies to have their account audited so all the organization whatever the business will be opened that business that form that organization must have external auditor to audit the financial activities of that uh, organization it is the legal requirement external auditing is compulsory it should be done and it is the legal it is the legal requirement uh, as per the government next is the scope it covers all the areas um, of the organization that is the operational and the financial okay now you can see why the internal auditing is important internal auditing is important because it covers the whole operational and the financial activity that means if the company is um, is hiring a internal auditor or a employee is doing the internal auditing of an organization and if he finds some error in the financial activity of an organization then he must be able to provide the suggestion also he must be able to provide the necessary strategies so that it can overcome it and it will be uh, it won't be having the financial risk financial loss next the external auditing is quite different why it is different because it is totally based on the financial focus only it will just check whether the financial activity is true or fraud and it won't be giving any sort of advices or uh, or related um, operational activities so that it will be effective for the organization next one is approach it is increasingly risk based the approach is to assess risk evaluate the system of control test operation of the systems and finally make recommendation for the improvement look this one is very 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 important why internal auditing is recommended by the government if the question will ask you so then you must be able to answer this why internal auditing is 
necessary or recommended by the government why it should be done it should be done because look it covers the all the areas of the uh, organization that is the operational and financial and what it will be analyzing it will be analyzing the risk what may be the risk of that organization so the approach is to assess the risk to evaluate the control, system of control and the test operation of the systems finally make the recommendation for the improvement that means first of all the internal auditor will uh, find out the risk he will analyze what what whatever uh, the risk will be there in different fields of the organization either it may be in the market condition either it will be in the competitive uh, competition um, or either it will be in the um, so insurance risk so this sort of risk he will be analyzing at first and he will be uh, checking all the evaluating all the system of the control and then after he will be um, after finding out the errors he will be providing the necessary recommendation necessary suggestions uh, for the improvement of that so that the company will overcome and he as he is himself the employee of an organization so he must be responsible for um, this organization so that the company won't be in loss and he won't have to sacrifice his job so internal auditing is very important next one is the external auditing so in external um, auditing means it increasingly it's increasingly risk based as it only tests underlying transaction that form having a financial statements so as we have known that it is purely financial focused so external auditors they will just uh, they are hired by the shareholders and they will just come and see the financial situation of a company and they will just say whether it is true whether it is fraud okay whether that is the legal one or not so that one is only the um, function of the internal external auditor next one is the responsibility the responsibility is to advise and make recommendation on the internal control and corporate governments the responsibility is to form an opinion on whether the financial statement so a true or fair view simply we need to understand that internal auditing and the external auditing everything is similar except that internal auditors they are hired by the management by the company itself and the external auditors they are hired by the shareholders that shareholders and that external auditors he will be responsible for providing the financial statement only but internal auditors will be responsible for the providing financial statement as well as how to overcome if any risk is involved in a business got it do you have any questions if not then we can move further okay so the internal audit and the internal auditor what do you mean by the internal audit here internal audit refers to the assuring the correctness of the financial statement of the organization so what do you mean by that assuring means uh, providing the assurance that is providing the security security that uh, whether that financial statement of that organization is being correct or not because the legal procedure will be coming on external auditors are there that external auditor uh, before external auditor will find out the financial mistake that internal auditor will help to find out or analyze that mistake and he will be um, providing the correcting um, procedures also okay so there will be uh, various um, informative ideas there will be various operative ideas for the organization that will be given by the uh, internal auditors so internal auditor is the financial professional employed by the organization we know that in order to check the financial system and the statements of the organization so financial system and statement means it is the financial activities only whatever the financial activities will be there either the um, uh, financial statement means either it will um, it will it have bought uh, the assets or either it is it has drawn the profit so how much the profit is gained how much the loss is made or how much uh, the uh, expenses has been done 
or how much the capital has been invested okay so that all comes under the system and the statements of the organization so the major job of the internal auditor is to examine the financial statement prepared by the accountants and ensure that the financial and the accounting system of the organization are accurate as intended as i have said whenever you open a business you have your main objective is to provide the service one first and the second one will be to provide the to gain the profit to gain the profit for the organization itself so for that purpose he must ensure that both the financial and the accounting systems are correct both the money uh, funding activities and the accounting activity means uh, the um, amount of the debit and the credit so whether that are secured and whether that is assured or not whether they are in the proper condition or not so that is the main objective of any organization when it is opened okay so for the internal audit uh, or the auditor to be an auditor what may be the entry requirement so you might have heard about the bbs bba so bachelor in business administration is there bba means bachelor in business administration and bbs means um bachelor of business studies okay so uh, this one difference also you need to know the full form of this two bba is a bachelor of business administration and bbs is a uh, bachelor of business studies so after completing 10 plus 2 in the management stream or in a science stream or any stream if you complete this plus 2 then you can directly apply for the bba or the bbs and you have to study it for the four years and further it will have the two different um scope that means one is the academic scope and another is the uh, job related activities so scope of the job and job you can see so many financial sectors are there so many banks are there you can see that chiton is the um, city of a bank so many banks are there so um, there is no any uh, doubt about the scope of the bba and the bbs graduate students so if you complete this bba and bbs also you will be uh, proficient in um, accounting you will be proficient in financing you will be proficient in doing the business if you want to open your business also you will be able to do your business also and mm, yeah you can get the job also you can get the job in various banking institution banks financial institutions okay so this one is the external auditor and the external audit um so external auditor we have already discussed external auditor refers to the examining uh, the financial statement independently prepared by the organization the external auditor is certified public chartered accountant ca so you might have heard that ca uh, will be hired by the financial institution why he is hired because he 